Hello everyone, this is Dr. D. Sage Paparo and I welcome you all to my PPT presentation on sequences. Before starting my presentation, you don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel Mathematics SKBRC and click on the bell icon for watching new videos. This is part 2 video. In part 1 video, I discussed the definition of a sequence, subsequence, range of a sequence and the different types of sequences with suitable examples. In this video, I have mainly discussed on the bounded sequences and problems and theorems on bounded sequence. Before defining the bounded sequence, first we define the bounded below sequence. Bounded below sequence. Let SN be a sequence. SN is said to be a bounded below sequence if there exists a real number k belongs to R such that SN greater than or equal to k for all n belongs to n. Since n belongs to n gives n is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Here S1 greater than or equal to k, S2 greater than or equal to k, S3 greater than or equal to k and so on. Sn greater than or equal to k for all n belongs to n. Here k is the lower bound of sequence Sn. Remember, every bounded below sequence has a lower bound. Example, consider a sequence Sn equal to n square for all n belongs to n. For n belongs to n, n is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Here, S1 equal to 1 square is 1, S2 is 2 square is 4, S3 is 3 square is 9, S4 is 4 square is 16 and so on. Range of Sn equal to set of S1, S2, S3, S4 and so on that is equal to set of 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 and so on. Here, S2 greater than 1, S3 greater than 1, S4 greater than 1 and so on. Sn greater than or equal to 1 for all n belongs to n. That is, 1 is the lower bound of sequence Sn. Therefore, the sequence Sn equal to n square is a bounded below sequence. Similarly, we define a bounded above sequence. Let Sn be a sequence. Sn is said to be a bounded above sequence if there exists a real number u belongs to R such that Sn less than or equal to u for all n belongs to n. n belongs to n gives n is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Here S1 less than or equal to u, S2 less than or equal to u, S3 less than or equal to u and so on. Sn less than or equal to u for all n belongs to n, where u is the upper bound of sequence Sn. Remember, every bounded above sequence has an upper bound. Example, consider a sequence Sn equal to minus n square for all n belongs to n. Here S1 is minus 1, S2 is minus 4, S3 is minus 9, S4 is minus 16 and so on. The range of Sn equal to set of S1, S2, S3, S4 and so on that is equal to the set of minus 1, minus 4, minus 9, minus 16 and so on. Here S2 less than minus 1, S3 less than minus 1, S4 less than minus 1 and so on. Sn less than or equal to minus 1 for all n belongs to n. Here minus 1 is the upper bound of sequence Sn. Therefore, the sequence Sn equal to minus n square is the bounded above sequence with upper bound minus 1. Example problem on bounded above sequence. Show that the sequence Sn defined by S1 equal to root C, Sn plus 1 equal to square root C plus Sn where C greater than 0 is bounded above. Given that S1 equal to root C, clearly it is less than C plus 1 where C greater than 0. Since Sn plus 1 equal to square root C plus Sn, for n is equal to 1, S2 is equal to square root C plus S1 that is equal to square root C plus root C which is also less than C plus 1. Suppose SK less than C plus 1 for some k belongs to n. n is a natural number set. Since SK less than C plus 1, both sides adding C and taking root, we get square root C plus SK is less than square root 2C plus 1. Since 2c plus 1 less than c plus 1 whole square for c greater than 0. That gives sk plus 1 less than square root c plus 1 whole square gives sk plus 1 less than c plus 1. Here s1 less than c plus 1, s2 less than c plus 1 and so on. sk less than c plus 1 gives sk plus 1 is also less than c plus 1. By induction, it is true for all n belongs to n. 
that is Sn less than C plus 1 for all n belongs to n gives Sn is a bounded sequence where C plus 1 is the upper bound of sequence Sn. Hence complete the result. Try to solve the example S1 equal to root 7 and Sn plus 1 equal to square root 7 plus Sn. Similar example problem. In the above example, we defined n plus 1 the term Sn plus 1 equal to square root to C plus Sn where C greater than 0. In this problem, n plus 1 the term Sn plus 1 equal to square root C into Sn where C greater than 0. Proceed as above problem and also try to solve the example problem S1 equal to root 2 and Sn plus 1 equal to square root 2 into Sn. Very, very important definition, bounded sequence. A bounded sequence can be defined in many ways. The first one is, a sequence Sn is said to be a bounded sequence if it is both bounded below and bounded above. That is, if there exist real numbers k and u belongs to R such that k less than or equal to Sn less than or equal to u for all n belongs to n. Here, k is the lower bound of sequence Sn and u is the upper bound of sequence Sn. Another definition, a sequence Sn is said to be a bounded sequence if there exists a positive real number k belongs to R plus such that modulus of Sn less than or equal to k for all n belongs to n. Here, modulus of x less than or equal to delta gives minus delta less than or equal to x less than or equal to delta gives x belongs to closed interval minus delta delta. Another definition, a sequence Sn is said to be a bounded sequence if the range set of Sn is a bounded set. Examples for bounded sequence. This is the standard example, every constant sequence is bounded. Since Sn equal to k for all n belongs to n, k belongs to R is a constant sequence. Since n belongs to n gives n is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Here S1 equal to k, S2 equal to k, S3 equal to k and so on. The range of Sn equal to set of S1, S2, S3, S4 and so on that is equal to set of k. It is a singleton set that is a finite set. Every finite set is bounded. Therefore, the sequence Sn is a bounded sequence. Here lower bound is equal to upper bound is equal to k. One more example, define the sequence Sn equal to minus 1 whole power n for all n belongs to n. We know that if n is even, minus 1 whole power n is 1, n is odd, minus 1 whole power n is minus 1. Here S1 equal to minus 1, S2 equal to 1, S3 equal to minus 1, S4 equal to 1 and so on. The range of Sn equal to set of S1, S2, S3, S4 and so on that is equal to minus 1 and 1. These are only distinct elements. That is minus 1 less than or equal to Sn less than or equal to 1 for all n belongs to n. It is a finite set. Finite set is bounded. Therefore, Sn is a bounded sequence. Here minus 1 is the lower bound and 1 is the upper bound of sequence Sn. Example problem. Show that the sequence Sn equal to 2 plus minus 1 whole power n for all n belongs to n is a bounded sequence. We know that if n is even, minus 1 whole power n is 1. If n is odd, minus 1 whole power n is minus 1. Since Sn equal to 2 plus minus 1 whole power n for all n belongs to n, for n is equal to 1, we get S1 equal to 1. For n is equal to 2, we get S2 equal to 3. For n is equal to 3, S3 is equal to 1. For n is equal to 4, S4 equal to 3 and so on. The range of sequence Sn equal to set of S1, S2, S3, S4 and so on that is equal to set of 1 comma 3. Here 1 and 3 only distinct elements. It is a finite set. Every finite set is bounded. That is 1 less than or equal to Sn less than or equal to 3 for all n belongs to n. Therefore, sequence Sn is a bounded sequence. Here 1 is the lower bound and 3 is the upper bound. Try to solve this similar example. Sn equal to 1 minus minus 1 whole power n for all n belongs to n. One more example. 
show that the sequence S n equal to 1 by n for all n belongs to n is a bounded sequence. Given sequence S n equal to 1 by n for all n belongs to n, since n belongs to n gives n is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on, here S1 equal to 1, S2 is 1 by 2, S3 is 1 by 3, S4 is 1 by 4 and so on. That gives S1 greater than 0, S2 greater than 0, S3 greater than 0 and so on, Sn greater than 0 for all n belongs to n or 0 less than Sn for all n belongs to n, it is denoted by equation 1. For n belongs to n, n is a natural number set that gives n greater than or equal to 1. That gives 1 by n is less than or equal to 1 since Sn is 1 by n. Therefore, Sn less than or equal to 1 for all n belongs to n. From 1 and 2, we get 0 less than Sn and Sn less than or equal to 1 gives 0 less than Sn less than or equal to 1 for all n belongs to n. Therefore, the sequence Sn is a bounded sequence where 0 is the lower bound and 1 is the upper bound. Hence, complete the result. Example, show that the sequence 3n minus 1 by n plus 2 is a bounded sequence. Let Sn equal to 3n minus 1 by n plus 2 for all n belongs to n. Since n belongs to n gives n is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Here S1 equal to 2 by 3, S2 is 5 by 4, S3 is 8 by 5 and so on. That is S1 greater than 0, S2 greater than 0, S3 greater than 0 and so on. Sn greater than 0 for all n belongs to n. This means all the terms of Sn are positive. By using division algorithm, f by g is equal to q plus r into 1 by g, where q is the quotient and r is the remainder, when f is divisible by g. Since Sn equal to 3n minus 1 by n plus 2, that is equal to 3 plus minus 7 into 1 by n plus 1, that is 3 minus 7 by n plus 1, here 7 by n plus 1 is positive for all n belongs to n, that is equal to 3 minus positive term, always less than 3 that is Sn less than 3 for all n belongs to n. It is denoted by equation 2. From 1 and 2, we get 0 less than Sn and Sn less than 3, that is 0 less than Sn less than 3 for all n belongs to n. Here Sn lies between two constant 0 and 3, here 0 is the lower bound and 3 is the upper bound. Therefore, the sequence Sn is a bounded sequence, hence completed. Try to solve the similar example, Sn equal to 3n minus 1 by 4n plus 5 for all n belongs to n. Very, very important problem. Show that the sequence Sn is defined by Sn equal to 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus and so on, 1 by n factorial is bounded. We know that n factorial equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 and so on, 2 into 1. Here 2 factorial is 2, 3 factorial equal to 6 greater than 2 square, 4 factorial is 24 greater than 2 cube, 5 factorial is 120 greater than 2 power 4, 6 factorial is 720 greater than 2 power 5 and so on, n factorial greater than or equal to 2 power n minus 1. That gives 1 by n factorial is less than or equal to 1 by 2 power n minus 1. In the given sequence, there is no change in the first three terms. That gives Sn less than or equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 2 cube plus and so on 1 by 2 power n minus 1. That gives Sn less than or equal to 1 plus 1 plus r plus r square r cube plus and so on r power n minus 1 where r is 1 by 2 less than 1. This is a geometric series with the common ratio r less than 1. That gives Sn less than or equal to 1 plus 1 minus r power n by 1 minus r, where r is 1 by 2. That is less than or equal to 1 plus 1 minus 1 by 2 whole power n by 1 minus 1 by 2. That gives Sn less than or equal to 1 plus 2 into 1 minus 2 power minus n. That gives Sn less than or equal to 3 minus 2 power minus n plus 1 or 3 minus 2 by 2 power n where 2 by 2 power n is positive for all n belongs to n. That gives 3 minus positive term is always less than 3. Therefore, Sn less than 3 for all n belongs to n, it is denoted by equation 1. Since the given sequence Sn equal to 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus and so on 1 by n factorial, 
that gives Sn equal to 2 plus positive terms is greater than 2 that is 2 less than Sn for all n belongs to n. It is denoted by equation 2. From 1 and 2 we get 2 less than Sn and Sn less than 3 that is 2 less than Sn less than 3 for all n belongs to n. Here Sn lies between two constants 2 and 3 where 2 is the lower bound and 3 is the upper bound. Hence the sequence Sn is bounded. I have added some web links here as quick references. They can greatly help students to encourage visual problem solving. Integration of technology with the subject will provide an efficient environment to learning mathematics quickly. I hope this presentation will help to students and they will more confident to attempt university semester and examinations. The remaining part to be continued in part 3 video. If anyone who likes more information or has questions, feel free to contact me at my mail id dchp876 at the rate of gmail.com or my mobile number 998902780. Thank you one and all for listening to me so far.